All right. Um, this is a video on how to create an account in the USCIS website, an account that is used to file or to sometimes uh, check the status of applications online. So the first thing you have to do is just go to the USCIS website, which is www.uscis.gov. All right. Now, before you start creating the account, make sure you are in the official website. So if you take a look here on the top banner, it will say official website of the Department of Homeland Security. Now, another thing to look for is the domain of the website. It should end with a .gov. Now, I'm gonna show you some examples of uh, websites that you're not supposed to go to. All right, so let me just give you a quick quick example. Um, so if you let's say if you go to Google and you type in USCIS.gov, for example, let's just go to google.com. And let's just say you type in USCIS.gov in the search bar, All right? The first result is an advertising. In this case, is fileright.com. That is not the official website. It's supposed to be USCIS.gov. And the same thing will happen if you, you go to, if you use Yahoo and you search by USCIS.gov, all right, um, you will see that the first results are ads. Now, these are not official websites, all right? This is USImmigration.com, which is not USCIS.gov, all right? So just make sure you are in this website. So the first thing that you have to do is just click on this blue button that says File Online. Now, if you already uh, have an account, um, then uh, just sign in. If you don't have one, then just click on Create a New Account here. All right, now as for your email, uh, you use your own email or an email that you have access to. Now, for the purpose of this video, I will use a temporary email. So I'm gonna use this online service which generate a, a temporary email. Do not use this for your application. You should use your regular Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail or Outlook account, all right? So let me just create an account using this email. All right, so it's not allowing me to use that email or to copy. So I'm going to have to type it, uh, you know, manually. So bear with me for a few seconds. OQIW.com. All right, so W A. Three four zero seven. I think I got it right. Good. All right. So uh, just ignore this because this is just for my computer. Now I should be getting an email soon with a which in the subject line will will say confirmation instructions. Now you will check your regular email inbox. This is just my inbox. Uh, so in that, in the email that you will receive, uh, you will see a link, all right, which uh, will look similar to what you're seeing here. All right, what says, it will say HTTPS, my account, la, la, la. then you will click on that, all right? When you click on that, uh, it's going to take you to a page where it's going to ask you to set up a new password. Now, there are some requirements for the password. Now, you could follow this, you know, the regular um, instructions on how to create a password, but you have to come up with a password that is strong. So let's say, for example, I create a password that's called capital letter P and then a few uh, lowercase letters, all right, and then I will add some numbers. Let me just come up with a different password right now. Let's give you a moment. All right, so let me just use what uh, 
Google just suggests me, okay? Some complicated password, like the one you're seeing here. Now, you will have to come up with your own password, all right? So, if it says great, then it should be a good password. If, you, if it says good, it will not be a good password. Uh, now, sometimes it will say so-so, or it will say a um, weak password. So, once you have a password that says great or good, then just go proceed and hit submit. All right, now, all right, now on the next page, it's gonna ask you to choose how you wanna, uh, you know, the two-step verification method. Uh, here you have three different options. You have the authentication app, the SMS, and the email. Now, for the app is the one that you have to scan a, a barcode. Uh, you, I wouldn't recommend to use that one and neither the SMN. Uh, sometimes these two methods will not work properly, will not work well. I would highly recommend to use email, all right? Uh, because uh, you might be in a different country that will not have um, US uh, phone carrier service. So it's better just to use your email since it will work everywhere. Now, sometimes uh, SMS message will not send the message on time and for other reasons too. So let's just say you select email, then you click submit and the verification code uh, will be sent to your inbox. Uh, now, if you remember, uh, my inbox is this one and you will get an email with a code. All right. So you just copy that code, right? All right. Which is 24523913. And then you will type it here. And then you will hit submit. All right. Now, uh, you will also have the option for the verification backup code. Uh, you don't need this code, but it's, it's a good practice if you could keep it safe somewhere. Just take a picture of it, or you could download it as a PDF, or just write it in a piece of paper and just keep it safe. This is just uh, for you to reset your security preferences. Uh, you might not ever need it, uh, but just keep it safe. Then hit proceed. And then the next step is the security questions. Now, there are five security questions, right? Now, if you click on the arrow, you have different options here. All right, so you select any question that you want. Just remember, these are the questions that will be asked to you in case you forget your password. So just be careful with this. Now, another thing to notice is that these answers are case sensitive, all right? Even though it doesn't say this here, uh, just remember that these are case sensitive, all right? Now, uh, just type in um, an answer for that question. Um, now, I'm gonna use the same answer for all of them. Uh, please do not do this. This is just uh, for, uh, as an example. So let's just call answer, all right? Now, just continue and then just fill out all five questions. And remember, uh, you should make these your real answers because in case you forget your password, uh, and if you get to speak with um, um, the USCIS by, over the phone, they will ask you these questions over the phone. So just be mindful of that, all right? So then you click Submit. And then you will have the question where they ask you for the account type. Now, there are two different options. So you have the applicant, petitioner, or requester, and the legal representative. Now, if you're a lawyer or an authority, you will select legal representative. If you're an applicant, obviously you will select the first one. Now, this option applies for if you're helping your friends fill out a form, or if you're, you know, a, a parent or a family member or a relative, anything. Anything that is not a legal rep a, and a lawyer and attorney will be an applicant. So you click on submit. All right. And then uh, you will have access to your account. Now, once you're in the account, um, you have different options. Now, in, in the next video, I will show you what, um, what you could do in here and file a form online, but I, I will quickly um, go through these four options so you'll have an idea. Now, the out of paper case is only for those people that have used their online system to submit an application online and are, and are trying to um, see the status of the application using this account. Now, the file form, the file a form online is for when you're applying or trying to submit an application online, right? 
which is probably what you're trying to do now, or you, and the other option will be the enter a representative passcode, which is the option in, in which uh, an attorney will give you a code for you to review the application they have completed for you. Now, the verify your identity is not used, well, it's not used every day, or people do not use it as much as the other ones. Um, but if you're, I'm gonna just quickly go over them. If you're trying to check the status of an immigrant fee uh, form, then you, you will use this one, all right? Now, um, that's it for this video. Uh, that's how you will create an account, all right? So just uh, remember, uh, use USCIS.gov. Avoid using any other website that does not end with a .gov. And to submit a form online, you will start here, okay? All right, so I will end this video. Um, thank you for watching.